Hello everyone and welcome to Boat Crew. This is a game that's just entered early access and is a bit of a first for my channel because this is the first time a publisher has contacted me and given me a key for a game. So this video isn't sponsored but I did get the key for free. I'll be completely honest but you should just know that going into it. So far I have only just done the tutorial and taken a look at a couple of preview videos so I kind of sort of know what's going on. The background of this game is you control a boat crew, very much in the lines of bomber crew or space crew where you're micromanaging the crew around the ship. But the setting for this one is a very interesting one. You are a PT boat crew in the Second World War Pacific Theatre, which I think is really quite unique. Uh, the Pacific Theatre does not get enough attention from World War II games, and PT boats are almost never seen at all. So really excited to check this out, see where it's going, so I'm just going to dive into my first campaign here. So we've got a choice of three different boats here, I am going to go for the more modern one, since um, me actually failing in the, in the tutorial kind of indicates it's going to be a tricky game, so I'll go with what seems to be the best late war boat. Okay, so we've got a crew selection screen here, got a bunch of people. Looks like every person here has a set of stats and a set of uh, kind of traits here. So they've got different skills that apply to the different roles they can take. That seems fairly straightforward. And then they've got these traits. So my captain uh, has kids, is resourceful and is stubborn. Doesn't indicate what these do, if anything, or if they're just flavour. I am not sure, but cute little thing anyway. So it looks like each starting person has one point of skill in each in one of the areas. So I'm just assigning those to the ones that fit. I only have one guy who's good at gunnery, so I'll just have to put some random person in after that. And there doesn't seem to be a skill associated with uh, loading. Okay, so we've got a amount of budget here that we can spend on various upgrades, resources, and so on. And we get more of these resource points for going around actually doing our job. So let's see what we can upgrade here. Now I'm going to follow what the guide that was sent through suggested and I'm going to start off by upgrading my machine guns. Yeah, so pretty much spending all of my budget but I'm upgrading my machine guns from Lewis guns to 50 cals. Should do a fair chunk more damage and a good general all-round weapons. Yeah, and Crewman helmets don't seem to cost anything, so I'll give those to my gunners since they're not going to be moving around much. Yeah, so some of this looks like it's cosmetic. Some of this is not. Oh, that's interesting. Can give troops weapons. Don't know if it's a good idea. Giving my loaders bandoliers so they can carry more ammunition might be useful, might not be useful. Give my captain some binoculars. Yeah, so I can also get some binoculars. I'll give the repair guys some armour. No idea if that's a good idea, but that's what I've got that loaded up with. Oh, and you can customise the paint, so I've gone for a channel matching black and yellow paint scheme. Cool. Yep, so specifically we're fighting on the Solomon Islands here. Okay, so this is the campaign map. We're starting just over here. We also have the Southern Island. And our objective is to try and take as much of this as possible and sink some high priority threats in the area. Now we can't engage bases directly, but from time to time the uh, AI will start doing assaults that we can help with. Otherwise we're just here to harass the enemy and do damage. Really quite interesting freeform campaign. Okay, so we can just start moving out. I'm gonna take a look at this island over here. We do have a radar we can turn on. Increases our sight area, but if we leave it on too long, it will alert the enemy. Transmission as well. 
uh, to call in extra help from friendlies. I'm just going to take a look at Salvo over here. We've got something to our north there, so let's head towards that. Okay, multiple small torpedo boats, a sub chaser and a coastal tanker. Well, I don't know if this is too much for us, too little for us. Let's have a go at it anyway. Okay, so we've got our people all set out. We can control the boat. W and S to increase, decrease engine speed. A and D to turn it. And I can press space to go into this acquisition mode where I will be able to target things. Anyone who's played Bomber Crew will be very familiar with this. I basically point the nose over what I want to engage and try and do some damage to them. Once targets are locked, I'll then just leave my crew to do their own thing. Okay, I've got multiple little boats dotted around. See if I can engage a few of these. Let's see the big transport, but I don't know if we can actually even hurt the big transport. There we go. Engaging the first of them. I think he sent up a flare to alert people. That's our first kill of the day. The sub chaser is firing at me, which is a little bit rude. Doesn't seem very accurate though. We do get little alerts of where the shots are coming in. Lock on that guy. Alright, got another one sunk, I think, sort of. Alright, we are now taking a lot of fire. And the boat's sinking. Uh, I think I bit off more than I can chew here. Yup, uh, and we go down. Okay. I think maybe engaging that many ships was a little bit too much. I think that's us dead. Okay, so definitely be careful about what you take on. Okay then, looks like it's spawning us in with a new crew, new boat. Okay, the crew are upgraded in the same way, which is quite nice. Okay, well, yeah, so boat lost, I've been assigned a new boat. Okay, so I need to be a little more careful about what I take on. Maybe taking on eight ships is a bit too many. Let's just take a bit of a closer peek at the base here. Okay, so I can do a raid of this base. I've got one times light base defences as the target. Let's see if I have better luck taking this lot on. You can see some things on the coast. I'm assuming these are the defences I'm supposed to be going for. Yeah, you can see them now on the little mini-map in the top corner. I've got lots of red things along the coast here. Alright, locking some up. Please excuse my cats who are deciding to fight right now. Alright, taking out a watchtower. Taking out some AA positions here. Did a little bit of damage. 
Well guys, hope we don't have any medkits. I will hopefully use the money we get from this round to get some medkits. Got rid of another watchtower. Alright, hitting another one there. It's another AA position down. Got another kill, another watchtower down. Ooh. This one is hurting a fair amount. 50 counts are doing their job though, it's another AA position down. Something a little further along the coast here. That's that pair of watchtowers. Okay, uh, might be all the enemies were no longer detected, so let's see what happens when we leave. Okay, so our successful raid, we can expect an assault soon. Damage the enemy base by 16 points. Yep, new assault is on the way. Gonna head back to shore, get some repairs, hopefully get some supplies. Which we have got zero net budget. I'll head back to Sovo. So I'll head back, see if we can support this assault that's going in. Okay, there's coastal tanker, one sub chaser, some light base defences, and a motor torpedo boat, or two motor torpedo boats. Okay, we have nicely been repaired. Bit nervous about the larger ship there. Don't know how heavily armed sub chasers are. And we don't have any torpedoes to deal with large ships, but we'll see what we can do with our guns. I want to try and focus on the little ships first. Right, well, engaging. Bigger ship's the one that I ended up getting closer to first. One guy's already been hit. Don't know if we're doing enough damage here to do anything. Oh, nah, we're dead. Okay, the big ships I really can't hurt. So you know what, I'm going to get some torpedoes then. Cheap little torpedoes. That's still some torpedoes. Then instead of going for the 50 cows, I'm going to upgrade my machine guns to the 30 cows. I can upgrade one to a 50 cal. Go for dazzle camo on this one. Alright, see how we do now that I have some torpedoes. Okay, same targets that I left off. Now, the tutorial, at least the amount of the tutorial I managed to cover before it got kind of stuck, didn't tell me how to fire torpedoes, so I may need to try and work that out. Uh, yeah, how do I fire torpedoes? Uh, must be a button somewhere, but it's not a button that the tutorial told me. Hmm. I'll see if I can find a control scheme. Would also like it if it by default armed your ship the same way the last one was armed. One slight issue right now, the menu doesn't seem to load. Um, if I press escape it just pauses, it doesn't actually open any kind of menu. Not early access and all that. Right, let's give it another go. Right, I have found the torpedo mate. So I'm going to give this another go. Uh, I think I missed that. 
Alright, there's my torpedoes out. So B is torpedo mode for those of you at home. So I think the right hand one's gonna mess. The other one's a direct hit. That seems to be going down. There we go, got the coastal tanker destroyed. And it's dropped little boxes of RP which I would really like to grab. Oh, we've been spotted. There we go. Return fire. Got a small patrol boat. That's nice. Good start. Oh, more boxes here. Hopefully that's a bunch of resource points. Now engaging these guys. Have a small patrol boat down. Uh, that one there is giving me a lot more grief than the others. I'm going to try and back away. It does seem to be sinking. Whatever it is, I think I did a lot of damage to it. Yep, small sub chasers down. Alright, I'm gonna try and back away, get out of here with what is left of my ship. But that was cool. So yeah, torpedoes work really quite well. Uh, I think someone fell off the boat. Something's in the water over here. Yep, someone fell off the boat. Come along, little man. There we go. Recovered him. Alright. Now let's cheese it. There we go. Task force destroyed. Nice. And grabbing all of those resource points from the uh, tanker has given us a nice chunk of RP that we can use. So when the boat is rather damaged, I would love to get back and get some more upgrades done. Right. And use our extra funds there to grab some repairs. So I've got some repair kits available. Okay, I've found the task force here. One that's engaging Savo, so it does actually literally move from one place to another. That's really quite cute. Okay, so this is an allied assault that we can help with. Bunch of friendlies, so let's just join in and help them smash the enemy here. Got multiple boats here, landing craft all over the place, very nice. They're including uh, amphibious tanks, that's cool. Some other PT boats with us. Here we go, start locking on, start engaging our targets. Okay, starting to hit them already. Ooh. Large shells coming in from the supporting ships. Doing good damage on them. Enemy aircraft are coming in. There 
are lots of uh, fire going up though. Ooh. Key 45 is down. There we go. 30 cal round, or 50 cal round. Uh, I've lost a lot of my crew. Where did they go? Come on. There you go now. Well, I've got people on the guns again. This is going a bit better. That seems to be this flank nice and secure. We are now moving back over. Landing ships are coming ashore. Well, landing ships are ashore. They don't seem to be disembarking anything, but they're there. Well, as I think that's it, so backspace to leave, I suppose. Yep, there we go. Savo is now ours. Nice. So I think what we want to do is join together our two corridor here's corridors here. So I am going to focus on Malapa. There are time controls here, so by default it's on 60 times speed, so we get a minute a second, but you can jump it up. It got some bonus RP for the amount of territory we have. That's good. Alright, let's scout Malapa here. I've got a coastal tanker, some sub chasers. I'll go for a raid. Not particularly going to massively engage it, but... Um, <laughs> what the hell? Uh, I think there may have been some issues there. Alright, what well, park ships? I don't see the supply ship. Whatever that is, is upside down. Now, I'm going to start off by raiding... This little ship that's off on its own over here. Oh, there's the supply ship. So I'm actually just going to start by eating a torpedo at it. Alright, one torpedo out. Oh, damn. They now know I'm here, and they're angry. But hey, direct torpedo hit. Yep, it's going down. They're shelling me, but not very accurately. Let's ambush this little guy who's off on his own. Okay, one small patrol boat down. Ow, that hurt. Come on, little dude, get back on the boat real quick. Fire a torpedo at their parked ships. Is overkill sending a torpedo towards a bunch of patrol boats. Ah, oh, that missed. Uh, someone else just got knocked overboard. There he is. I'm dead. In you get. Let's keep the little crew going back to help the downed crew. Now what I'd really like to do is grab that giant stack of RP from the sunk ship. So I am going to do my best. This is probably going to go wrong because I've got quite a lot of defences. Uh, 
I've got a small patrol boat there. Yeah, my ship's taking too heavy damage. I'm going to try and get out of it. Got a sub chaser though. And a small patrol boat just went down. Oh, we've actually managed to repair a fair amount. I might try cracking on and trying after those uh, resources after all. We're no longer at risk of sinking. Alright, they've spotted us again. Okay, got one of them. Got another one. Right. This is what I really want to get is all of these. Oh, someone dead. Yeah, we can't linger here. No, oh, it's too greedy. But yeah, I think you get the idea there. That is boat crew, and I am really having quite a lot of fun with this. One issue is I can't work out how to get the menu working, so I don't know how to quit to menu. Yep, so I don't know how to quit. <laughs> Another early access um, issue there. But otherwise, I am actually really enjoying this game. It is very, very early access right now. There's a lot of polish that needs to be done, but for a game in early access, it's really quite fun. And I really do like this campaign style, this kind of free roaming nature to all of this, able to go where you want. You can do convoy raiding, base raiding, the overarching idea of helping support your side in slowly conquering the Solomon Isles. And the level of uh, additions that we can do is really quite a lot here. So I need to customize what kind of kits that we have on our ship. There are a huge range of torpedoes that we can get. We can get depth charges as well. The torpedoes that I've been putting on are kind of the basic ones, we can get much more expensive, much fancier torpedoes. We can also get things like mortars, anti-tank guns, auto cannons on deck, rocket launchers, and things I've not shown so far is you can call in allied planes in battle to get artillery strikes and uh, bombing strikes to help you out if you're doing well enough in a given battle and you can also go and employ additional boats to join your little flotilla which is really quite cool so you're not just a lone wolf you can end up with a little wolf pack here so yeah all in all very promising i definitely am going to be playing this some more if you would like to see more of this on the channel please do let me know with a comment down below big thank you to the devs and the publishers for giving me the key for this and I had an absolute blast and I'm looking forward to seeing where this game goes. But until next time I hope you all take care and remember to be kind to yourselves and everyone else. Cheers.